Oh, lovely winter day, barely zero. Um, no spit of a rattling coming from the engine last week. Um, just as I was starting to do the B service on the car, which is at 100,000 kilometers, and the water pump pulley bolts were loose. And actually, I loosened the, the belt at the time. I loosened the belt and felt it, and there's a little bit of play in the water pump. Uh, probably due to the pulley being loose, it's, it's putting extra force side to side on the... Uh, on the water pump pulley which puts force on the bearing in the water pump and i'm not taking chances with the water pump so i'm just going to replace it um, i have my new one right here and there are two types of water pump for this car this is the 2.2.6 uh, liter um, c240 uh, the m1112 v6 and these this one's got two hoses it's got uh, the large and the small hose on the bottom and there is a third hose that could be right there on uh, some of the cars. So there's two types of water pump that you can get for the exact same engine. And I hate pulling this engine cover here off because it's always, especially when it's cold. Yeah. Anyway, I'll pull that off in a second. Um, it's hard to see where the third, the other water pump bolt right there. Right in front of my finger, that's where it would. There would be a small hose coming up there, I think, for the heat exchanger between, uh, for oil, I think it's for the supercharged models, not 100% sure. But, uh, so two things I did before I'm going to start this. I made a quick belt diagram. I know where mine is, I'm just doing this to show you uh, how to make a belt diagram. If you don't know, I'm sure you do, you can figure it out. Um, I don't mind my drawing skills. My hands are freezing because it's cold out here. So I'm, uh, and I, uh, with the old, there's a ton of bolts in this thing. There's going to be two to three different sizes of bolt, including, uh, bolts for mounting the, uh, uh, not the tensioner pulley, but the idler pulley and, uh, the alternator. So I've marked out all the bolts from the new water pump, just sat it on here, traced around it and punched holes in them on the piece of cardboard from the water pump box and I'm just going to stick the holes in there. That'll make it a lot easier. Uh, the kit came with a new gasket and there's also the rubber seal that came with it as well. I don't know what this is. This is free wax paper. I don't know what this is for. <laughs> Why is this in here? Whatever. Anyway, so I'm going to get... Uh, the car jacked up and start draining the coolant and uh, I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, so you only have to jack the car up. You can do it on one side. You have to lower it again anyway to get the coolant out. So I've just used the jack stand and uh, sort of the jack, put a jack stand under there quickly and then get got out. There's six eight millimeter fender screws holding the splash shield on. And then put those down. Underneath, you're going to see this red cap, and you're going to use a big flathead screwdriver, unbolt that cap, and put a pan under there to catch all of the coolant that's going to come out. So I'm going to do that now and be back in a second. Also, uh, before you do anything, remove the front engine cover. You don't have to remove the whole air cleaner assembly and the two snorkels just to get them out of the way. Back in a second. Okay, so the little red screw is undone. The coolant's not really bleeding. Why? You have to get, allow some air into the system. So undo the overflow bottle. Now the coolant will start dripping out. So we're gonna let that drip out and I will be back in a minute when that's all done. Okay, well, the belt is still on. The water pump pulley, the four bolts, you don't have to take them off. Just crack them loose. And it's going to be a lot easier with the, with the pulley on. Or with the belt on. Wow, these are really... I, I Loctited these, so... <laughs> That's a little loose. on. That's 
three. So that's almost as loose as the, well, you're not going to be able to tell now, but with the engine going, it was rattling. That's almost how loose the, uh, they were a little tighter than that. But anyway, and uh, now, like in two seconds, I'll remove the belt. Okay, now we're going to get to the idler, or the uh, tensioner pulley, 15 millimeter socket. And rotate it counterclockwise. Loosen the tension. You may loosen the bolt, may loosen itself, more than likely will. If you have a uh, manual transmission car, I think there's also going to be the shock absorber on the tensioner, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So rotate it till you just get enough slack to slip the belts off. No, it didn't loosen. Amazingly. And then we'll pull the belt off. Good time, obviously, to check it for cracking or wear. Oh, this one's good, thank God. I don't have another one. Not that they're hard to replace. Back in one second. And as I'm doing this, I'm slowly lowering the car to get, because uh, I can't find my big, wide, shallow bucket, so I have to lower the car over top of the bucket to get more coolant to come up. I'm just gonna lower it a tiny bit more. Now, back in a second. Now, you're gonna need a lot of torques and reverse torques bits for this job. Um, I don't think there's any regular bolts on here other than the 10 mils that are on the water pump pulley. Oh yeah, that water pump is loose. Anyway, uh, the idler pulley here is a T50. Torx T50. Now I need to get reverse Torx bolts for all of these little, including the alternator. Back in one second. Okay, and I'm gonna do the final removal of those four bolts from the water pump. Pulley. And I'm going to tell you right now, I may not be a very happy camper. Because just, just this second, as I was pulling those bolts off, I realized I lent my reverse Torx socket set to a friend at work. Son of a bitch. I have all the coolant drained and everything. Oh, these bolts are not held on there. These aren't tightly torqued bolts. They're like 10 pounds, 8 pounds, whatever. 
do I risk using a regular socket? Because a lot of times you can use, do I have a 10? Yeah, that's a 10 that was just sitting there. A 10 millimeter will fit. Oh, Jesus. I don't really have any option right now, actually. I'm gonna have to do this with regular sockets on Torx headed bolts, reverse Torx bolts. Son of a, <laughs> that's my own stupidity. I didn't even think of that. Shoot. Uh, let me see if I got another set. I don't think I have another set back in a minute. Okay, I've come up with a slightly better option. <laughs> Not much better, but I have um, bolt removal sockets. Uh, they're not Torx, but, or they're not E-Torx or reverse Torx. Um, but again, I don't have any option. There's no other cars home. I'm here by myself. So, um, yeah, the one is going to fit. In a pinch, you could use 10 millimeter on the, on the medium ones, 8 millimeter, and I think a 12 or 13 on the alternator one. That's the only big one, the only large one. But while I'm here, you might as well listen to this pump. So that's definitely gone. And that was just from the, uh, the pulley, uh, I'm pissed off about this, sorry, uh, from the pulley being loose. So what I'm gonna do is take off these two first, which holds this little bracket on. Um, and I think the rest are just pretty much dead simple. And then undo the two hose clamps and pull the pump out. Um, this one alternator bolt, yeah, you don't need to unhook your power for this. Uh, you're not going to be going anywhere near anything electrical. Do it if you want. If it makes you feel better, unhook the negative battery cable. Um, but yeah, let's just take all these bolts out, put them up in our little map, and uh, back in a minute. Okay, so all the bolts are out. And this is, you can see why you need to keep track of them. They're all different sizes. Two heads, I, I, the head did not get wrecked. <laughs> Thank God, like I said, these are low torque bolts so you could easily take these off with an eight millimeter and a 10 millimeter socket i don't recommend it uh i think it'll be an 11 for the alternator maybe a 12. i don't recommend it if you have e-torques use them i don't know where the hell mine are i know i lent them out i think i lent them out a while ago anyway i've got one missing bolt uh that's actually there's an accessory bolt hole here on my car there, shoot, there. <laughs> but there's nothing bolted to. Everything else is came off fine. There was no problem whatsoever. I'm just going to take the hose cl pipe clamps off and uh, I'll pull the two rad hoses off and pull this pump out. I might need to pry it a little bit. Um, not sure where a good spot is going to be for that, but it shouldn't be hard to pop off. Anyway, uh, back in a second when I pop this out. I'm just going to start pulling off the pump when I notice something right here. Let me get some light on that. Stay light. Right there is the water temperature sensor, and there's a little curve on the top of the water pump. That little thingy there, it kind of hooks around it. And you can see if you pull that water pump straight back, it's going to pull on that sensor and pulling the plug out is just gonna the, the the plug is still gonna be in the way so rotate the pump to the left and around the sensor while you're pulling it out there we go i think i should be able to wiggle it out of the hoses there we go oh of course you're still attached thank you Look at this sucker. All that dirt is from the... Well. That is stiff and crunchy. And did someone weld up the weep hole? You gotta be kidding me. Someone put junk in the weep hole. Yeah, that's very hard to turn. Actually, very hard to turn. I mean, not hard, hard, but much harder. There's a chunk right there. <laughs> a spot where it won't even turn. Look, it's, it's, 
It's like a hard spot. Yeah. And then it gets easy. Oh, man, that pump was gone. So, anyway, now in, the, in there you can see the rubber. I'm going to have to clean this all out from all that crud falling in there. But there's that gasket, the pop-in gasket, the rubber, thin rubber one. And then there'll be a... wasn't one from the factory. But there is a surface mount gasket also that was included in this kit. So I'm going to clean all of this up and then pop that... Uh, Pop that gasket out, and we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so everything's all cleaned off within the water pump and a new gasket put in. There's two gaskets in the kit. Um, I'm assuming it's one or the other because this one, this gasket sits proud. There was no gasket, uh, no flat gasket with the, uh, the original. And putting a second gasket on there just doesn't seem to make any sense to me. So... The first thing I'm going to do is get the lower rad hose in. It's not the lower rad hose, but it is the lower connector hose on the water pump. I'm going to leave the other one, the smaller one, to hook up later on. This is going to be fiddly. Because you don't want that gasket to pop out while you're putting this in. Yeah, be very careful that it doesn't move. But I also have to rotate it past this water temperature sensor. And there we are. Okay. So now we're just going to thread lock all those bolts, put them back in, and I'm not going to torque them down yet. Oh, well, I'll have to torque them as I'm going. So, let me get torque specs on those for you. The larger bolts are going to be, where did I put that? Got it written down somewhere. So the large bolts are going to be 15 foot-pounds and the small ones are going to be 6 foot-pounds. Uh, I'm going to have to check that. It's 26 newton meters for the larger ones and 10 newton meters for the smaller ones. So I'm just going to have to do the conversion on that and actually be back in one second. I'll do the conversion for you before I start this. Okay, so it's going to be 8 foot-pounds for the smaller bolts and 16 foot-pounds for the larger ones. And you're going to put them in, um, just start going around, putting them in, tighten them gently, uh, tighten the center ones first, and then start working around the outside. Um, and then slowly get them all down to the final torque, but just snug them up bit by bit by bit, and then finally do the final torque. Um, obviously, these little bracket bolts don't really matter. And uh, I'll have to give you the torque spec because I can't remember it on the idler pulley and the alternator bolt. And I'll have those in a minute after I put all these back in, back in a bit. Okay, I'm just torquing down the larger, I think they're M8 bolts. If you're doing this in inch pounds, it's about 190 inch pounds, 195 inch pounds. going to slowly do all the large bolts that are the main bolts holding the pump in. Okay, and then we'll go back and we'll do all the smaller ones one at a time at 8 foot-pounds, which is 8 times 12, 96 to 100 inch-pounds. Back in a few minutes. Okay, so Idler pulley, center bolt, uh, about 22 foot-pounds, 20 to 22 foot-pounds. Um, everything else is cinched up, tightened up. Um, 
hose clamps put back on. Alternator bolt about 30 foot pounds. Uh, check your manual. It might uh, uh, check online again. I the 35 pounds I got I don't think is right. I'm gonna check uh, my. The manual I've got, I don't like the, I don't, I don't think it's right. <laughs> 35 seems a little low, but I'm going to check it anyway. Um, so now I've got to put the water pump pulley back on. The pulley back on, and these bolts are uh, 6 to 8 foot-pounds and thread-locked. So uh, if you're doing inch-pounds, uh, 6 times 12, 72 to 96 inch-pounds. Um, do not crank those suckers on. Um, you'll strip them. They're little tiny bolts. Same with the bolts in the water pump. Um, they are a... make sure you torque them properly. If you don't have a torque wrench, eh, be very careful. Uh, don't snap those bolts and don't uh, strip the heads. And I just have to put the splash pan back on and the belt back on. Uh, simple. Uh, there's no need to show you any of that. And refill with uh, Mercedes coolant or... Um, well, I only use Mercedes coolant, so I'm not even going to say an or. A lot of battles out there on whether you can put uh, the Xerox, what is it, Z05, or no, Xerox, whatever. Um, I use Mercedes coolant anyway. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I'll start it up in a minute once I get all this on, and we'll make sure it's uh, running without making any noises. Thanks for watching.